Ready? Yeah. Okay. So uh, tell me, when did your shoulder pain start hurting? Um, last week, when my kid was jumping off the couch and I went to catch him, and then uh, my shoulder started hurting after that. Okay. And uh, what movements makes it hurt now? Um, like lifting it up and like pushing forward. Okay, and what type of pain are you experiencing? Is it sharp, is it burning, is it throbbing? Um, sharp and aching. Okay, and then when you do feel the pain, how long does it typically last? Is it uh, lasting a couple seconds, a couple minutes, or hours, or days? Most of the time, a couple of minutes, but sometimes an hour. Okay, and does the pain uh, radiate down your arm, or is it just in the shoulder, or does it go into the neck? Does it travel anywhere? Um, travel is up to my neck. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So now we're gonna go through some movements to figure out where the actual pain is coming from. So I'm just gonna want you to stand up. You can just kind of adjust the screen so we can see each other. Great. Okay. And so I um, just want you to go ahead and turn around first. And I want you to just go ahead and reach towards the ceiling three times. If you can, just kind of move your hair uh, so it's not covering your shoulder blades. Excellent. So just go ahead and lift up your arms. Yep. And then come back down. Let's go through that motion two more times. Good. And then one more. Great. And now you can just uh, go ahead and turn around and face me. I want you to um, have your arms like this. And so you're gonna take your uh, left arm and push sort of your right arm like in like this and test to see if, and tell me if that hurts at all. Yes. Okay, some hurts. And now you're gonna push out. So this hand's gonna go out, but it's gonna resist. So you're gonna use your left hand to push that arm out and see, let me know, does that hurt? Um, not as much. Okay. And then uh, other one would be sort of have it out like to the side a little bit, not directly in front of you, but kind of out maybe 45 degrees. Excellent. You can take your other hand, just kind of push down and let me know, does that bother your shoulder at all? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. And some other motions. So I just want you to kind of see, put your arm in this position and see how far you can go back. And let me know how that feels. Cool. Some pain there? Yeah, that hurts. Okay. And then the next motion, uh, you'll need to turn around. But what you're gonna do is basically reach uh, behind your back. You can do one arm and then do the other arm and let me know how that feels. Great, I can see, yes. Excellent. And I can see that's limited. Is that painful as well? A little bit. Okay, great. All right, and so it looks like you have a strain in your uh, stabilizer muscles called the rotator cuff, right? So essentially, when you go to reach and when you go to catch people from falling or lift something heavy, um, those muscles are designed to stabilize your shoulder joint, right? So if those muscles are not working, the shoulder joint can slide around and typically it slides up. And when it slides up, it pinches this, you know, these fingers represents this bone in the shoulder right here. And so when the bones kind of pinch, it can irritate some of the tissues. And those ir uh, irritated tissues are typically, uh, it could be the rotator cuff, they're the stabilizers. It could also be some other soft tissues. And the good news in this situation is it doesn't matter if it's the rotator cuff, sometimes the tendon of this muscle called the bicep, it's underneath there. Uh, sometimes you'll hear doctors say it's bursitis because there's a bursa, which is just uh, like a fluid-filled sac there to give you cushioning. The beauty of it is uh, the treatment is about the same, right? So essentially the strategy is to not only strengthen the muscles, but it's also to restore the position of your shoulder blades so it's in a better position. So right now let's go through some simple exercises to start doing that. And what I want you to do is do these exercises uh, two times a day to start with. And you wanna make sure that you do them with proper technique, which is why it's important for me to show you how to do these exercises. And then when we connect on future uh, calls on here, the goal is to make sure we progress those exercises properly and just to make sure that your technique is done right. Because I always tell patients like, in physical therapy, unlike in a the gym, millimeters matter. Meaning 
the exact technique of how to do these things can be the difference between getting better or getting worse. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and stand up. And so I can see, so the first exercise we're gonna do is just simply activating certain muscles that are known to help stabilize your shoulder blades, right? Because your shoulder blades are the foundation of your shoulder health. And so before you do any kind of strengthening for the rotator cuff, we wanna make sure that the shoulder blades are in the best position possible. And so the first exercise you're going to do is simply you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades back and down together like this, and then relax, right? Back and down and relax. And so I'm gonna give you a little side view of what's happening. Basically your shoulder blades are going to tilt back and down. Most people when they do like, you know, if you've ever been to the gym, and you do some kind of pulling rowing motion, a lot of times the shoulder blade actually goes forward like this, right? It goes actually, it tilts forward. And we wanna make sure that we actually tilt them the other way, which is this way and not this way, okay? So you're just going to squeeze them back and down and you can have your arm just down like this at your sides. You're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. And I want you to sort of, you can even close your eyes right now and feel what that feels like, right? Feel those muscles actually working to hold those shoulder blades in their uh, ideal place because we're gonna use this technique and build upon it where we do other stabilizing exercises. Right? So it's very important that we go from technique to technique to build a proper skill in getting your shoulder blades to stabilize again. How does that feel? Is there any pain with that at all? No, it's just tired. Okay, good. So you can go ahead and relax. And a lot of times from doing uh, these exercises and your body's been compensating, right, uh, by sort of moving differently because of the pain because you've had it for a little bit of time, there could be, you know, sort of knots or tight muscles in this area here, right? So now I'm going to show you a, a simple thing that you can do um, to kind of release those muscles. So you can just take your, your left hand and I want you to go ahead and um, find like right here, right? So this would be the shoulder and this would be like the chest muscles right here. Great. So you're going to just push in and push down and then take your arm and just kind of slowly reach out to the side. and then relax back down, come back in. And how does that feel for your shoulder? Tight. Okay, so if it's tight, it's okay. If there's any sharp pains, we can modify this because if the uh, shoulder is really sort of still not stabilized well, in other words, if it hurts too much, if this is more than just a tightness feeling, if there's actual shoulder pain, you can actually simply just kind of rub right in this area yourself. This will help release these muscles from being tight that's pulling your shoulder blades forward. Right. So simply just rubbing this you know, area for maybe a couple of minutes uh, throughout the day to relax the muscles, what you'll find is that you can do that first, and then this exercise becomes easier, right? because these muscles are not pulling your shoulder blades forward, so they're not, they're not fighting each other. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. right. And so um, as we do this, the next exercise, if we're going to continue to stabilize, a simple tool you can use at home to strengthen like I have here is a pillowcase. So you can, if you can find, just grab a pillowcase. Excellent. And so now that you know the technique of squeezing the shoulder blades back to stabilize, the next exercise we can do is learn how to apply that technique and you're just gonna grab the, the, um, the pillowcase and basically you're, you're trying to bring them apart. Of course, they're not moving, right? So this is called an isometric exercise. Isometric just means same distance, so nothing is moving. So you're just going to uh, grab onto the pillowcase, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down, and you're going to squeeze your hands apart, right? They're actually trying to move apart, even though they're not moving. And so I want you to apply only 50% effort while you're doing this. And you're gonna hold this for a seven second count. So you can count like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, and seven Mississippi, and then you can relax. Good, how did that feel? Okay. Okay, good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a set of 10 of these. And the reason we're holding for seven Mississippi or seven seconds is research actually shows to do these isometric exercises, seven seconds is the ideal duration. So we wanna make sure that we're always following science, improvement science as we're uh, healing your body, right? So let's do another one just to make sure technique's okay. So shoulder blades back as a reminder, squeeze out with 50% effort, not as hard as you can, just half the effort. Let's hold it for one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, and seven Mississippi, and relax, okay? 
And did that feel okay as well? Yeah. Great. So before we move on to the rest of the therapy, um, do you have any questions right now uh, regarding uh, the, the exercises or how you feel or um, what the diagnosis is or what the rotator cuff is? Any questions at all? Um, what things should I not do? Great question. Yeah. And so right now, uh, I call it the T-Rex roll, right? So with that arm, you pretend like you're a T-Rex. So you basically right now want to avoid reaching far, right? So you can kind of do that with the other arm for now, but until we get the shoulder to stabilize, you do want to avoid, you know, any kind of far reaching because when you're doing that, it actually can be irritating the shoulder. And so in your healing, the first phase right now that you're in is all about reducing inflammation and then setting the stage to stabilize. The second stage of your physical therapy is uh, stability, like building up all the stabilizing muscles and then getting you to be able to reach a little bit without pain. And the last stage is more complex movements, right? Because at home, we don't just like move our shoulder and arm, we move our whole body. So the last phase of your therapy will be on calls doing exercises to show you how to do more complex movements once your shoulder's been stabilized. And that will get you back to being able to do everything that you want to do in life without pain. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if we can, uh...